Hey, what's up? Jason here from Unity3D.College. In this video, I'm going to go on to abstract classes in Unity, and I already did a video on interfaces. So if you haven't seen that, I'd check that out first. This is going to show some of the differences between the interface and the abstract class, and kind of where you should use an abstract class in place of an interface. So right now we have a click to damage script right here, damage on click. And this thing just checks to see when it does the ray cast, when you click on something, if it has an I take damage implementing component. If it does, then that thing will take damage. And I take damage, if you forgot or haven't seen the other video, is right now just on a car and a barrel. So we have a car class that implements I take damage, so it'll take the damage and you know health will go down and it'll destroy itself. The barrel implements it slightly differently and just destroys itself. So now I'm going to set up an abstract class instead of the interface and show kind of how that can be beneficial. So here I'll do create C sharp script and we'll just call this damageable. I think that's a good name, damageable. Now damageable is going to inherit from mono behavior and it's going to be a class, but it's going to be abstract. So we'll put the abstract keyword here, clean up the formatting a little bit, and then we're going to add a public method called take damage. And that will take in an integer for the amount of damage. And then here we're going to decrease this thing's health. So go health minus equals damage. Now we need to create a health variable. So I'll do generate field with control enter. And then we'll do if health is less than or equal to zero, we'll destroy the game object. So here we're just killing the thing if its health ever gets down to zero. And now I want to make it so the health is adjustable. So I'm going to do serialize field and we'll make a private int and we'll call it max health. And now we're going to add in an awake method. So we'll do private void awake and we'll do health equals max health. All right, get rid of these extra two using statements and that line at the end, we'll save. And then I'm going to go over to my car script. So now my car, instead of having I take damage, we're going to use, and mono behavior, I guess, we're going to delete both of those and we're going to use damageable. There we go. So we've got that one set up and we'll jump over to the barrel. And for the barrel, we'll also replace it with damageable. Now, we already have a little bit of a problem and you can see it when we look here. It says that this method hides the inherited member. That's because we don't need to take damage on here anymore. Damage is done on the damageable. Right, so we also don't need that here. And let's take another quick look at our damage on click script. Remember, this thing is looking for I take damage objects when we click. So since we don't have I take damage on anything anymore, this isn't going to work. Now there are two ways we could fix this. We could change this to be damageable. So you could do something like damageable, damageable equals get component damageable. This would work totally fine. Uh, there's another thing I just want to show though, because it's another easy change and it's something that you may end up doing a lot. If we can go over to the abstract class and we can just implement the interface right there. So if we add the interface there, now it will actually work. So I can hit play. And then if I click on any one of these things, as soon as it starts, they should get destroyed. Now they're both getting destroyed because the health is set to zero on them both. So we need to go into these two objects and actually pick a health value. So maybe we'll set the car to three clicks and we'll change the barrel to two clicks. So now I can hit play. And now they have some shared behavior. And this is kind of the difference between interfaces and abstract classes. Abstract classes usually implement some shared behavior where interfaces are more used to define things that are interacted with the same way, but their behavior could be completely different. So another nice benefit though, if we look at our spawn damage taker that we saw in the last video, before we, I had set up so that we could have an I take damage and maybe pass in a prefab, right? And this doesn't work. This doesn't show up in the editor because interfaces won't show up in the editor. But what I could do is change this to damageable. And we'll call this a damageable prefab. Oh. There we go, just like that. Oh, did I spell that wrong? I did, there's an E in here, there we go. Okay, so now if I go back to the editor, 
we should see that spawn damage taker allows us to assign a damageable. Let's see. There we go. So we could do the car. Oops, I missed the, the drag right there. We could drop the car in there. Or we could drop in the barrel. And we could drop in anything that you know inherits from that base class. Now, one other thing that you can do with abstract classes that you can't do with interfaces is find object of type. So we could have the damage on click. Instead of doing a raycast for everything, I could delete all of this out and we could do something like bar damageables equals find objects of type damageable. Now remember, get component will find things based off the interface. Find objects of type will not. So here we go. Now I can go through all of these. In damageables. And here we can just do damageable dot take damage and do one damage. So now every time I click, no matter where I click, every damageable will take one point of damage. So on the second click, the barrel should blow up. And then on the third click, the car. One, two, three. So just to recap, the key takeaways, I guess, for this are that an interface defines a contract. It tells your code and other objects how to interact with the thing. It doesn't ever define how that thing works, though, internally. Right? And they also can be found with git component or git component in children. They do not work with find object of type. They also can't be assigned in the inspector. But you can have multiple interfaces on an object. You can use an abstract class and put on an interface. You can use any other class and put on as many interfaces as you want. You can even use interfaces as sort of a semi tag so that they work, you know, like you can do get component, I take damage. If it's an I take damage, go do this thing. If it doesn't have that and it has some other interface, go do this other thing. You can do it that way so you don't have to use tags because I don't know about you, but I personally really don't like using tags. I find them a lot harder to use just because there's no IntelliSense and no code in there for me. Um, abstract classes, on the other hand, you can only have one. It's just like a normal class. You have to inherit from it. So if you want your objects to be very different and act very differently, an abstract class may not be the right case for you. But they do have shared behavior. So you can have shared state and shared behavior. When I say shared state, I mean the state objects or the state fields that are there are the same. So they could all have health or they could all have you know, a reference to a sprite or something else like that. The other thing that they can have is a field in the inspector where you can assign them. So you can use them for prefabs and stuff like that. A lot of the time I'll mix them up and I'll have interfaces on abstract classes and then you know call the interface when it makes sense, call the abstract class when it makes sense. So if you're not using either of these, I'd recommend you just think about it and figure out where it might make sense, where you may be finding yourself copying and pasting. If you find yourself copying and pasting anything, there's a good chance that an abstract class is a, is a good solution there. And if you find yourself doing a lot of if checks, checking to see like if this is a car, do the same thing, or if it's a car, or if it's a truck, or if it's a human, or if it's something else, all these cases, then do this one thing. In that case, an interface could be a good friend for you and really helpful there. So try them out. If you have questions, drop a comment below or hit me up at the site at unity3d.college. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and hit subscribe.